Eric Packham, thanks for tuning in. I'm from New Zealand, I'm a naturopath. I specialize in candida, uh, but I also work with people with a wide range of digestive disturbances. Irritable bowel syndrome, inflammatory bowel disease, ulcerative colitis, for example, Crohn's, um, food allergies, many different types of conditions. Helicobacter pylori, it goes on and on and on. So is detox good for candida? Well, detox is a cornerstone for the eradication, not just candida, but many different types of bugs or pathogens that could potentially you know, inhabit your gut. So don't just think um, of candida when it comes to cleansing. Think really of just a good overall house cleaning. I've written extensively about this in my book, Candida Crusher. There are many, many videos you can see about detox on this Candida Crusher YouTube channel. You can also read a lot more on yeastinfection.org. So remember, detox is fundamental towards you know, getting you to the stage where you're going to finally eradicate a candida problem. You've got to clean out the rubbish. I like people initially to do the big cleanup. So the big cleanup involves you uh, being very careful and doing a pantry overhaul, throwing out all the crap, the junk out of your house. When you go shopping, don't buy the things you know you shouldn't be eating or drinking. When you make the lifestyle changes, uh, which I really like you to do. You're going to lower your, you know, lower your uh, desire for these foods because you're going to live a more stress-free life. You're going to sleep more. You'll have more energy. When you feel good, you make the right decisions in your life. When you feel terrible, you're going to make the wrong decisions, and that usually means drinking alcohol and eating takeaway foods and all the kind of junk that contribute to toxins in the body: smoking, drinking, takeaway food, deep-fried food. When I spent time in Las Vegas recently, I was appalled at how much sugar people were eating and how many sodas people were drinking and you know, huge big stacks of pancakes with syrup for breakfast. I mean, I would even feed it to a pet. I mean, this is junk food. These foods induce toxins in the body. So you don't need to do a very complicated detoxification regime with candida. But usually we do detoxes in two or three phases. We like to remove stuff initially, like remove the junk. That's the big cleanup. Two weeks is good for you to come down off things. Never make very rapid changes in your diet. Okay? It's the same advice I would give to people if they were going to exercise. If you're a big, large person who's tired, you're not going to go to the gym and then do a three hour workout. And then, you know, you spend a whole year's gym fee, you join up, you feel like crap in the first week, and you never go again. Lots of people make those mistakes. Don't make big diet changes because your digestive system is not used to such a rapid change. Induce changes slowly over a two, three, four week period. So the more unbalanced your life is and the more you want to become balanced, the slower the change has to occur because it will be more likely to be a permanent change. Take it easy. You've got plenty of time. Don't be in a hurry. The, the, the more rash decision and the faster you push yourself, the more likelihood you're going to back out and, and quit altogether. Okay, So if we look at detoxification initially, we could look at different types of fibers. You know, psyllium, uh, slippery elm, there are different protein drinks you could drink with fibers in them. Some people like to have vegetable drinks. These flush the colon out, clean out the crap. You know, you could. some people use bentonite clay. Other people are going to use magnesium oxide or vitamin C powder. This gives you a bowel flush. It's very good to do that. And then you might want to follow up with Canzita Remove, which I've created, an antimicrobial, to clean out parasites, bacteria, toxins, and crap like that living in, in the gut. That could be, again, a week or two. Then you could be looking at a probiotic like Canzita Restore to rebuild that gut, to stimulate proper enzyme production, to allow the, the production of beneficial bacteria in there again. A detox doesn't have to be arduous or very long blown out. You don't need to do 95 colon cleanses, for example, okay? So most people I see are not that toxic to begin with because they've already implemented a healthy diet. They just need to tidy up before they go into a proper candida diet. A small minority of people I see were smoking and drinking and doing foolish things like that. So they need to go really slow for several weeks before they, they go deeper into it. You can also incorporate over time a bit of Swedish bitters into your diet, which stimulate toxic bile secretion. 
and clean the liver up and dump toxins into the digestive system, which you can excrete. And that's aided by skin brushing and having showers, stimulating the skin, having saunas. I'm doing a, a redevelopment uh, next year on my front yard. I'm going to build a sauna. I'm not a big fan of the of the far infrared saunas. I prefer the, the ones that produce heat and, and, and steam and humidity. And I'll have a sauna every week. I think saunas are fantastic to really stimulate diaphoresis or sweating. The skin's the largest organ. It's a great way to get toxins out of the body. Exercise will do that too, induce sweating and toxin release. Breathing properly is a great way to remove you know, toxins from the body. Stimulating the skin, sweating and skin brushing, stimulating the bowel with the right kind of foods, you know, vegetables which I speak so often about. Simple, basic stuff. It's all you need really to detox. Okay. If you have heavy metals through a hair analysis or maybe a urine provocation test, you may want to do a heavy metal cleanse. I will have no doubt done a video on that too. So detoxification forms a fantastic pathway um, for rebuilding you know, your health from the ground up. And it's a very good precursor to beginning the Candida Crusher program. So am I a supporter of detox? I'm totally a supporter. Please read more of my information online. Do my quiz on, on eastinfection.org or candidacrusher.com. Check it out. And have a look at candida.com. Formulas are specially designed for people undergoing cleansing, detox, yeast eradication, parasite eradication, and ultimately um, being in great health. Thanks for tuning in.